So, for our third and final game of the evening, welcome to This is the Police. This is a... I'm not quite sure how to put it. So I'm gonna lower the sound just a tad in my ears. Our, we are basically the chief of police who's on his final time before his pension kicks in. And it's up to us to kind of keep the city going while trying to earn enough for retirement. A lot of this game is about the choices you make, and it was it one of those surprisingly uh, niche hits, and now that there is a sequel to it due out in August. So here's our news. I'm gonna head to work. Go, game, go. When I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60. But I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus, it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. <laughs> They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. Alright. So we have to decide we want to play things by the books or be a uh, crooked cop. And try to earn a little extra money before our retirement. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad <laughs> as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something. And I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. Alright. I'm trying to think of any other games I that remind me of this ago, one, and nothing's coming to mind. Swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Hmm. Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. <laughs> and of course, we're going to be choosing our options here. Alright, so how should we play this? Should we try to be calm? Or should we uh, be a little bit more, uh, uh, shall we say, vitriol with our responses? Getting fired from our job, basically. All right, Cavalier. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's the cars and jazz. Yellow is us thinking the real answers. Uh, let's see.
How's the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Kendrick. Is that John St. John? As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to rude, arrogant, no warning, we'll like fast forward shoes, a little bit so we get to the Rogers gameplay. enters every room like he owns the place. He never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis. <laughs> Jack, I was hoping to catch you after. Th There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason. Well, this morning I signed a ban on smoking and all. Soon enough I won't be here at all. <laughs> if that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Don't, uh, don't betray them. Sit nice and quiet so we for have... the next 180 days and, uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only <laughs> thing that you still have left. Be the hero. Then how am I supposed to scrape together a retirement <laughs> fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension. One that even I would have been. 180 days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't all have... Right. I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have some... I'll do my... Quit smoking up the office. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Troy <laughs> Star. What came with the best world design? Oof. There's a whole lot there. Alright, let's get it work. Hmm. Cops don't mm -hmm. use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of st Everybody just takes snacks from the machines, or... The main thing? Don't look into anyone. My deputy, Francis Kendrick. No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. Yeah, good world building definitely an art for, for a lot of Needs games. Needs to be ready tonight. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. All right. So here's our group of people. Okay, so Price over here is has like no professionalism at all. Well, these are kind of like our top people. <laughs> Once I want to move the chat window. I think I'll move it over here. So that's not blocking the footage. There we go. Alright. 
So we have a case here. So who should we send for this one? Doesn't seem like it's a bad case. I think just one cop should be good enough. What do you guys think? Watch it turns out to be like an underground like hobo smuggling. Yeah, world building and getting like the tone and consistency set is just very hard to do because most developers don't really think about it at that level. Alright, so we'll send her out. Oh, we have a fight. Send price. Doesn't seem too bad. Can I pass four? No. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh no. Damn it, Austin. Let's see what I can hear. Yay. How would someone get killed? Looks serious. Right now. Eh, we'll just send one guy. How bad could it be? Austin here did not help us at all. Day's almost over, it looks like. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Alright, let's send three. No, we'll send two. Looks like we uh -oh. have a situation here. Now what? Uh, what do we do, folks? Do we sneak inside the house? Or do we spook them? Mm -mm. I don't know, I think we should try and scare. Alright, we have a vote for sneaking. All right, no, that's two. Anyone else? All right. Yay. All right. We did it. Uh-oh, we got a fight. Oh, no. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Yancey. All right, it's almost six o'clock. Nice and quiet now. Oh. Come on, people, do your jobs. Alright, let's 
the end of the day. Okay. All right, so we have Shift A. So that was our B team right here. And that should be fine. One day and go on to our next case. Oh. Used to be when I asked Kendrick, slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past Kendrick isn't mm -hmm. just crumbling under the weight of the public. Internal affairs raided the library he inherited from his grand. <laughs> Heard about the look on his face. The fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose. Probably sounds crazy, but I simply called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. Nice. So you could get a call from any of them. And what kind of business are we talking? It's nothing too serious. Just like you asked. Mm. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Whew. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. <laughs> Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business. And I'm not trying to get into yours. Mm -mm. And, and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said. Christopher G. Sand. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dad goes back as far as his great-grandfather. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection. Meanwhile, Sand pulls the strings without getting... People mm -hmm. sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A In four weeks, Sand mm -hmm. killed 30... Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's mm. not the kind. All right, let's see what we can do here. Back to work. <laughs> oh, sure, fine. All right, Roy, sure. What? Give one to you. And I guess we'll give one to you. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, we got multiple music too. I'm gonna get flagged, aren't I, for this? That's 
nice. It's probably not them, but their publisher is going to be a little bit more. Uh oh. Alright. Beats Lulu too when she's back in town. Now she can shimmy me like Sister Kate. She's a dancing queen, fit for a king. Swing sweet ginger green. That's how you push it, eh? I need one more detective, if possible. Bit, right? Yeah. Let's see what this is. I mean, I can confuse the copyright by playing every song. Okay, we've heard this one already. Nice and peaceful. <laughs> I know. Just means more people gonna be yelling at me, right? Alright, Harry. Uh oh, what happened? Oh. Come on, guys. Okay, false alarm. Of course, I always like big band music myself. A lot more money to get to 500,000. Oh no. They're selling crack to the teenagers. Nice and chipper for what's going on, isn't it? Alright, the day is about done. Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, what should we do? I think we should uh, try and do a stakeout here. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Alright. That's what we want to see. Four days down, 176 to go. <laughs> He's used feminists to destroy Freebird. Okay then. Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Bo um. Get to my front door. The Bible boys walk. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but according to her, these brave... She patiently listens to them, asks them questions. <laughs> when I watch her do it, I've got to admit, it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them... But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Another couple weeks at this rate, and I'll be greeting <laughs> anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. But Laura just disappeared. Mm -mm. The children in the stories always stand. The in-laws always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, La the oh, fellow geez. Laura ran off with, is young <laughs> enough to be her son. I hear he's thirty years old. Give me some of that old. jazz music of here. all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some... So mm. we have an agreement. Sally's gonna track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Which, of course, means anything at all. It's <laughs> a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife <laughs> is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an Hello. Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Oh, <laughs> is there any... That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range... <laughs> At my police building, we find people... F oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, to my and it gives dogs. me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. Let's not go back into that, <laughs> Sally. Find my wife, and we... Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible. Mm -hmm. Alright, what record should we put on today? Uh oh, Purdy. Oh, fine. What? Oh, man. No, you can't take the all for that. Uh oh. Oh, fine. Alright, folks. Alright, we were up to... We did that one. Let's see what this one's about. shift seems a little light, doesn't it? Let's see. Yeah. Mm -mm. You've got one more assignment all set and you're out here. Team. Let's see what they can dig up. What? Sorry, Coachy. You and Austin go. This is 
Christ's last day on the job. Oh, that's great. The races are gaining more and more followers. That's not something you want to hear. Oh, well, that's lovely. This game just got very disturbing, despite how nice and peaceful this music is. Oh, lovely. Well, I guess I can't ignore it. Uh-oh. Alright. You two go handle it. Eh, there's some more. Let's hope there's no crimes. Because I don't think Price is going to want to do it. Alright, let's see. Give it to Gochi in a second. Oh, the time freeze? Oh wait. Your tech has been frames, everything might have happened. Alright, we got three frames here. Okay, so let's take a look here. They drove us down, they shot like a machine gun. I'll have a few muffled shots. I don't remember the car, and the neighborhood was quiet. Alright. So, person leaves the house. Something happens to him, and he gets killed in the process. So, this has to be somewhere. I don't know, that looks about right. I can't move this one, right? Oop. No, I can't move the ones that are already in place. So, actually, no, wait. I'm thinking it's this. Alright. Let's see what we got here. I 
I think we may need a SWAT team for this one. This guy is a murderer. And we'll send her to get powered up, hopefully. Uh -oh. oh, not a cat fight. Do we send the SWAT team for a cat fight, everybody? Uh oh. Oh no. We don't have anyone to send right now. Well. See what happens. Officer, oh. Oh good, how do we stop a cat fight, people? Do we have anyone with experience in this situation? I said we shut off the music. <laughs> you say this? <laughs> I think we uh, stop the party here. Uh oh. <laughs> what strippers go ahead and don't interfere? Great. Oh no. Yeah, bucket of cold water. How do they escape? Damn you, Austin. Let's see how they're doing. Good. Alright, go SWAT team. At least my detectives are doing their job. That's the day. Oh, now what? Price. Let's go to the intro the last day. Yeah, we need some more people for a shift B. has no problem with racists. That's good. Why would a man need a barn to <laughs> store all the stuff you can't bring home? About 30 years <laughs> ago, back when I was young, after a day in the field, I'd come home with... But even back then, there's something... Mm -hmm. I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about... To, now oh, they're God. knocking on my barn door. In all the years we worked together, mm -hmm. Kendrick never came to visit but he never came for dinner with the family. We I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an... But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with... Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We... <laughs> How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans. Yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the mob. Jack, I'm leaving tonight. Mm -mm. Probably won't be seeing each other again. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. You told your Mafia friends about your plans. Jack, if I don't mm -mm. fix everything with them in the next few hours, they, they found out that I was planning to run and they demanded that we close our contract today. Oh, great. Your contract, Frank? Now is not the time, Jack. Please. <laughs> Uh -oh. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need an instant. I can't just mm -mm. give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. You mm. know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut... He's the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. Great. Now we're going to work for the mob. Okay, so what do you think we should do? Should we help him? and get in with the mob, or refuse. Mm -mm -mm. And see why this game got a lot of praise from people. Well, that's one vote for the mob.
<laughs> Anyone else? Yep. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going for the mob. Give him my phone number and tell him it's done. Don't call me, don't Jack. Uh, Get the fuck out of my <laughs> nice cozy barn, Frank. <laughs> At the time, I was trying not to think about what just happened. I'm probably the most popular police chief in the history of the city, and I have to admit, I've thought about that more than once. Let's see. In one of the features they wrote about me in the papers, they said it <laughs> And here I am, the person who catches criminals, and I've agreed to help the Mafia, or I'll come home to a bag stuffed with my kid's body. <laughs> hey, remember that cop who caught criminals? It turns out he was a <laughs> Mafia bitch. And all for the sake of a greed. That no, sound right I haven't. to you? All right. End of their car. I don't know. Uh oh. Fine. Let's see. How do I sh uh, shift people over? Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, there's gonna be so many copyright claims on this part. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Now what's going on? And a race. Right? The will agree to that. No, we're not doing it. Uh oh. This doesn't sound too hard. I need to get some of these people out. Can I fire him? No, not yet. Serious, but I don't know how bad. <laughs> I like the like the fact we're looking at this diorama too of the city. Uh -oh. oh no, the elves impression impersonators are fighting. there. What are we doing for time? Jeez. Where are we 45 minutes in? Looks like in we it. have a situation here. Uh-oh. Fled. Hmm. I said we sneak up the back door. Uh-oh. What do you think we should do, folks? Number two or number three? Do we try and take them out?
don't think we should shoot him. Okay, do we play a tough cop here? All right, let's see what happens. Good. All right, well, not bad. Uh oh, we have a robbery going on. Let's put our detective squad on the case here. Hey, Coda. What's going on here? Alright, let's see what happens. Uh oh. Alright, Birch, you go. Birch Jr. Uh, let's see. Is anybody coming back in the next ten seconds to join in? Six, five, good. Let's see. One person has back up. All right. So we gotta figure out what's the case. Damn you, Birch. Oh, nice. At least they did something good. Good. Nice. Another case cleared. But when is the Mafia going to come in and start doing stuff? Alright. So we gotta see what happened. So... I think this one's pretty obvious. Shouldn't be too bad, I think. Uh oh. Come on, Stovall, get back here quick. <laughs> Alright, take Birch with you. Mm hmm. Alright, let's see what happens. Robbery. Good. Alright, they call him. Go detective team. Oh, Birch, you better do your job. Let them all rest, that's fine. What's our time? Yeah, we pr this will probably be our last day of This is the Police. I don't know if this is a good stream game or not, but I'm, I'm starting to get into this one. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should put in a press request for this is the police too. Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. Mm -hmm. He left you. A man? What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked. He was uh -uh. talking on a big telephone. You know, one of those portables. He gave. Damn. Of course, they could have shot them the second they took mm -hmm. the photo, but I knew Kendrick and his family were all right. Either way, the message was not that they got out. It meant that I was in. Great. My servitude to the Mafia had begun. I'd only been in my new position five... Boyd. 
Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I mm -hmm. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. Mm -hmm. I don't talk to people who don't. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Great. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new no, ways. He's... So if you insist, uh. Jack, let us formally yeah, meet. The voice doesn't sound that Hello, Jack Boyd. <laughs> as what I would expect. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, uh. Mr. Sepping. Oh, you'll soon find oh, out all great. of You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. Don't turn off your phone. Eight in ten. It's been my go-to principle since my... I've got to let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand. I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? Oh, boy. But the only thing I can think... What's going to happen to 8 and 10? That's not going to be good for us. Ooh. I got an achievement, though. Alright, what music should we listen to? Oh, let's go for this one. Mm-hmm. There we go. Uh oh. Uh, let's try and take down a gang. Oh, jeez. So apparently, we're going to have to go after the Mafia here. Alright, team. That's really nice. I'll take ten Just what they mean. Oh, good. Gotta be bold to hold sweet I ginger won't. green. She's sweeter than Sue and Georgia Brown. Beats Lulu too. Uh, go when shit. she's back in town, now she can share me like Sister Kate. Oh, she's nice. a Learn dancing more money. queen. Fit for a king. Swing sweet ginger green. Music's nice and uh, energized for this late at night stream, Watch isn't it? Ooh, that a boiling chocolate. Alright, you two go. Oh, 
need to take a day Looks off. Looks like we have a situation here. Yeah, let's plug that I don't think we're gonna need a SWAT team for this. Let's see what happens. Hm. I think a fast forward maybe would be a little bit better for some of these parts. somebody else.
that is gonna be our stop point. Oop, what's happening here? Hmm? The people of Freeburg have built up a tolerance for the petty horrors of modern life. Folks rarely even slow to gawk at a car accident. And so when I ran into a troubled crowd on the way to work, I knew there was... And we're talking about people who would step over a corpse if... But apparently all it takes is a bunch of leaflets. Or spreading broken glass across Main Street. The mysterious figure taking responsibility oh, for these strange acts goes by the alias Robespierre. Green, I got Nobody knows who he is, what he wants, or what all this adds up to, from the buckets of lard spread <laughs> on the sidewalk to the front door of City Hall covered with ostrich feathers. Oh, Batman. But this strange <laughs> cross between childhood pranks and cheap theatrics has got the people all worked up. Everyone understands when some Freeburg crook satisfies the base. But when someone steals a lion from the local zoo and locks him in a cell below the courthouse, the people start asking questions. I think I would. Myself? I kind of like this Robespierre. It's not just the pranks he's pulled. <laughs> Who does that make me? The Marquis de Lantanac? I don't think so. In the old books about... Or maybe the innkeeper who tops up the beer kegs with mop water. Hmm. <laughs> Great. Oh, we have a new deputy. Ooh. Oh, good, we can buy more records. 310 dollars for a record, damn. How many records are there? <laughs> God. Ooh. Mm mm mm. <laughs> did, you, did you see this? I usually don't beat my kids, but my daughter broke this record. She'd be in the hospital. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is a six hundred dollar record. Or oh, I'm sorry, seven hundred dollar one. Mm, mm mm. We just spent our entire pension on more <laughs> records. <laughs> All right, folks. But I think that is gonna do it for the evening. I like this one. I'm kind of. I think I'm gonna put in for the second one. Maybe we can play that on stream when it comes out. But I'll be back Sunday afternoon for our live show, and we'll do another vote for the grab bag stream across the week. For anyone new watching this, be sure to check back daily for discussions on game design here and on game wisdom, where we're on the science of games. And if you'd like to get updates on when voting and stuff goes up, be sure to sign in to our Discord channel, the link open to everybody down below. But uh, you guys have a great night, and I will see you for our next stream. <laughs>